I mean, cool. I'm, I'm a person that rides the state, you know, indoors or in paved areas rather yeah, yeah, than yeah. go outside. So I might be more of a VAR person than an Amazon. We're standing by a green screen, so no one can actually see where we are. We could literally be where we uh, where we normally are, me in Stockholm. Yeah, but we are in the same Del physical space exactly. now. Exactly, like we, we, we can touch each other. <laughs> Howdy everyone, and welcome to our Amazon reveal stream. I'm Knorr, this is Lennart, he's the one that matters. Today, uh, we're gonna show you, other than the Faction Spotlight, literally the first more in-depth look of Amazon, which is one of the factions in H.O. Wonders. Uh, Planet Fall, the fourth one that we've revealed. We have a scenario that we're going to go through, and after that, we are going to do a decent amount of Q&A. Uh, the, the plan is to start out, uh, show a bunch of the early stuff, and then also hopefully show a bunch of the later stuff as well. So uh, this is Amazons. Who are they and what do they do? Amazons are a race of all female warrior women that ride dinosaurs with lasers on their head. Mm -hmm. They genetically modify themselves, they genetically modify the world around them, the creatures that they uh, mount. Yeah. And uh, yeah, they, they, they are a very fun uh, faction, very versatile. Terraforming is a, a big thing for them. Because that's one of the, we've already showcased the Dvar, which are also kind of into terraforming, but in a very different way yeah. compared to the Amazons. Yeah. They're sort of natural enemies of each other. Yeah. So you get, you get the sense that Amazons perhaps want to protect nature a bit more than the Dvar wanting to exploit nature. Yeah, it depends on your definition of protecting <laughs> nature, you know. So let's get into character customization here. Right, so here we have the card for the Amazon faction. So they mm -hmm. specialize in bio and laser weapons. Yes. Um, and have we seen bioweapons before in any of the other factions? Uh, the Kirko oh, yes. uh, used them, but, the they, Kirko but they combine it with psionics. Mm -hmm. um, and the Amazon have the laser technology. You, yeah. know, you need that for your... So bioweapons bio bio in this case would be more likely, you know, poison effects, that kind of stuff. Am uh, I yeah, correct? Cor there? Corrosive yeah. uh, stuff as well. Actually, uh, a lot of our bio stuff is actually uh, armor melting, so mm -hmm. it's a bit different from the typical poisons that you yes. see in fantasy. Uh, we're going to go in with a Xenoplague. Ah, the classic Xenoplague. Yeah, look here, poor little baby no. attached to this alien parasite, <laughs> you know, in Uerson, in a yin-yang symbol, so they can uh, just evolve further than mm -hmm. where they already, you know, they've already rid themselves of, of men in their uh, reproductive pro process. And with the Xenoplague, uh, they can go Yeah, just get further. rid of it, you know, yeah. just get rid of it. Yeah, we're going to go for the Star Union Schooler, so we can uh, research our secret technologies a bit faster. Data Repository. So this one will start off uh, with a random tier one research group. You know, Amazons mm -hmm. are big on research, yes. re they, they are big on biotech. So we're going to go all out research and just race down that research track. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. Okay, we're going to go for the Amazon Assault Mount. So in this case, for the Amazons, it's the Swift Beak. You know, uh, those starting mounts or starting vehicles are, of course, race specific. But mm -hmm. The Amazons don't use uh, bikes or no, uh, they APCs, they use beasts. Yeah. She's decadent, so we get some extra hit points. Okay. Very nice. And they've got the supply reduction. But the Amazons are uh, very good uh, with supply, with food and bioengineering. So you should be able to compensate for their decadence. All right. So, uh, yeah, just don't play notice to this world. You know, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a bit like on fire. Mm -hmm. but, um, It'll be fine once we get down there. Yeah, it, it will just, be fine. This is just, uh, it just atmospheric distortion. Exactly. It um, just looks like it's on fire. Yeah. Hey, look. It's the Amazon arrive and it clears up immediately. Yeah, exactly. It's... I, I really like all of these uh, drop scenes. They're really yeah, cool. Yeah, they're a bit different from each one. So here we are. Here we have our leader on the cool Swift Beak. Swift Beak is essentially it's a grounder, so it's essentially a vehicle. Even though, of course, Swift Beak is is a beast. But what what are the why would you want to put your commander on a mount or a vehicle? What are the like what are the positive benefits here? Because the previous ones that we've seen so far did not come with a vehicle of any kind. Yeah, the the vehicles uh, come in two flavors. There's an assault type and mm -hmm. a support type vehicle. The uh, assault types are. Uh, good for, especially in this case, for melee assaults. So they got a, uh, a launch which can uh, work on melee range and yeah. on uh, this range range. Uh, when you choose this option, you immediately unlock the uh, piloting skills, which also gives versatility to mm -hmm. getting new uh, vehicles that you yeah. encounter in the field, so you don't need to choose that upgrade manually. But in this case, it's 
very swift uh, attacks, flanking. Uh, but it's 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 risky uh, whenever you take a, mm -hmm. a leader that has melee abilities. Because yes, you, of course. You and that's you need to be uh, more of an advanced. And that might have uh, been why you picked player. Decadent, so you got those extra hit points. Uh, yes. Uh, so we got the Amazon Biomancer. Yeah. This is a support unit. Uh, they can scan enemies for weaknesses. Um, they can put en enemy creatures to sleep. Uh, works well with the um, primal. Uh, uh, override a group where so you can, uh, where, where you, as an operation, you can capture a, a creature. Yeah. So we need to uh, treasure this this unit for our uh, creature grabbing uh, exploits. A huntress firing energy bows uh, with two types of arrows: bio ammos and uh, flash arrows, which mm -hmm. can blind and stagger enemies. And here we have a little scout. Yeah, the shriek. I always had a strike in my hand. It, maybe it's. I mean, you're yeah. the game designer. I li you you yeah. literally get to decide, uh, decide this. You know, we 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 are handicapped non-native English <laughs> speakers. So here we have our fledging Amazon colony. Um, yes. So we can look into uh, expanding it. Uh, our research is still locked because we decided to lock research. In oh yes. Tur turn one. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're just looking into uh, maybe upgrading some of our supply for now because we. We're decadent. Mm -hmm. Ooh, here we have the growth. Oh yes, uh, a NPC faction that um, it seems to me that the fact uh, that the Amazons might uh, they might be in the same wheelhouse as it were. Yeah, 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 yeah. They are uh, both uh, you know close to nature as, as you would say. Mm -hmm. uh, but it also happens that the growth has a number of molds uh, which you can acquire that are oh yes very handy to mm -hmm. the Amazons because they are units roster has a bunch of plant units in it. Yeah. And of course they do biochemical damage, so do the growth. Uh, so there's a lot of overlap there. So mm -hmm. we should try to make fr uh, friends with them. So let's search for a symbiotic relationship. I think that I think that's a good idea. Or we just we can just go go here because here's some good uh, research facilities and you know, we mm -hmm. were Making a plan of just yes, racing get down the research. Exactly, track. get all the, get all the research once once we actually have oh. access to to the research tree, which, like you said, has been changed previously. I think we've actually shown uh, versions of this game where you had access to it in the first round, but now you get it in the second. So we got discovered a growth dwelling, which are over here. Mm -hmm. Hello. So if you look here, the trade options. Euphoric Spores. Euphoric Spores, which is one of those unit mods you talked about that might be good for the Amazons. Yeah. In the meantime, I'm just going to set a uh, plan for our research. Yeah. And we um, got some, uh, we had a perk that we got some extra research, right? Uh, yep. Look here. I oh got yeah, the there uh, we go. Front, uh, frontier facilities. Mm -hmm. I got the uh, recre recreational dome and uh, the colony infrastructure upgrade. So that's, that's nice cool. if you if you need to deal with happiness early on. So I'm going to set that and I'm, we're going to go for the primal control. Which allows us to capture more creatures. Yeah. So we're gonna go there via the protective grounding, which has a protective yeah. growth uh, tactical operation, which protects the Amazons in combat. And we've got a grounding harness, which is a, um, a unit mod giving stagger resistance. So I'm, d I'm just gonna quick combat this. Um, so now we got some extra research speeding up these two and we're gonna go for primal control and what's uh, what's primal control other than it it sounds like uh, taking control of primal animals uh, yeah and it also uh, unlocks the, the mods uh, oh. th that you can control your your mounts and creatures better I mean that oh I got a special oh a special goodie you find hey. an intact item swelter braid inside the analytics the diagnostic chamber, you would find the item. You need to, you need to write, read louder than that, Leonard, so they actually hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, they, they can read it as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a surprise for me as well. But yeah. this is a, a cool weapon. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to sell it because yeah. uh, we, we're not the one that we don't want to equip it and lose our cool mount. Exactly. I was, I was going to say. So yeah, we'll we could save it up for a different lead yeah. later. But because uh, we're like in a normal game situation, you'd probably you're, you're going to get access to more commanders later on, so it might be, if it's an interesting weapon, you mm. just hold on to it, then you try and find a commander that's useful that you can give that weapon to. Yep. But in this case, 
We're just going to get take, that take research. The extra, yeah. If you look at the tree, you got the primal control. So, so just to confirm how that actually worked, yep. you picked you picked primal control. I think what's it? Uh, this turn or la last turn. Every turn, you get a certain amount of research, and any research you essentially find on the world map is just added yep. into the pool straight away. So, yep. in theory, if you find a lot of like in uh, on map resources, you can unlock like several steps in the same turn. Yep. While that might be very unlikely, yeah, you, you know. can, yeah, 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 it gets stored and the research gets saved. Um, so we can start unlocking the Aborians, which are the uh, the large um, woodland creatures, for example. Mm -hmm. Let's go for that. And we still, of course, we still have that. Uh, we still have that mission to uh, for the for the growth. But I have a sneaking suspicion that you are uh, more interested in research at the moment. Yeah, we're gonna go off the research. Uh, we're gonna annex this sector. Um, it's about time. Yeah, Everyone knows this sector belongs to us. We got a, a similar stack guarding this location here, and this one uh, might be a little bit more interesting battle mm -hmm. because it has a, a cool site. Oh yes. Yeah, it's not just a wilderness uh, location. And that's also one of the things that just keeps being pie piled on and on and on new ta new uh, tactical combat maps and they're all looking really good and uh, I'm not just saying that because I'm paid to because they <laughs> look really good <laughs> all right let's uh, let's take these guys out don't believe me check this out well as soon as just look at it just look at it yeah so here we have a couple of beasties you know just hanging out at an old quarry yeah and as you know Beasts tend to do. Yeah, it's a deserted quarry. So we have to be careful with the all the red stuff basically explodes. So these give very big bangs. Mm -hmm. These maybe a little bit smaller. So uh, yeah, you have to be careful with uh, using this as cover. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're, we're going to be steering clear a little bit. Um, so the Amazons don't have Overwatch. Oh, they no. Uh Oh. At least, at least these these yeah. bow, uh they're not as quick maybe uh -huh. as when you have a machine gun yeah. uh, ready. Because that's we've I think we've for most of the other factions we've seen so far we've seen units that at least some units that have yeah some the Amazons Overwatch. have uh, Overwatch as well I think the Aborian has one yeah. but not the uh, not, not at the, the yeah. not the Huntress so we see got some other cool perks like the, uh, the flash arrow. Mm -hmm. uh, so these beasts are mm. uh, hopper hounds. Uh, they uh, are, if you can see, they've got the sort of like grasshopper legs, mm -hmm. uh, meaning that they can jump large distances and yeah. uh, push, knock people back. Uh, this one is particularly nasty. It's going to slice people around them in a wide angle. That doesn't uh, seem good. So we have to stay away. Uh, so, so that's a nice uh, area of attack, for area of effect uh, mm -hmm. thing. So we have to be careful. So I'm going to use the flanks here. They'll never expect us coming from two sides at once. No. Uh, oh, yeah, and this uh, grating here, uh, mm -hmm. if you stand, uh, that actually uh, causes uh, fire damage. Oh, so because it's yeah. possibly ele electrified. Yeah. Looks like the, uh, the beetles are probably just going to jump over it. Mm -hmm. All right, so operations are still charging. Yes, and operations, uh, for those that don't remember, they're abilities that are not necessarily tied to... They're tied to you as a player rather than any of your units on the on the tactical combat, right? Yeah. And they're usually stuff that you can research more powerful later on, but they take a while to charge and they might cost resources. So I can take a pot shot with the flash up uh, angle. Uh, mm -hmm. Hopefully blind this. Resist it. Oh dear. What? Um, well, I mean, it's only it's only a bunch of people watching. You play your own yeah. game, Leonard, so it's fine if you don't. Yeah, like the random map generator. <laughs> yes. Cool. <laughs> what a well, some, someone was like, no, nah, I don't want to. Oh, no. Invigorating. Okay, pronounce that. <laughs> I don't even see what it was. It was stridulations? Oh, a critical. Uh, Thank you. Watch. Yeah, and oh these, so, so these are essentially jumping and then pushing people away. Yep. So they jump into a square. Oh. Oh dear. You were oh right. Dear. You were right, Leonard. This is a more interesting combat. <laughs> <laughs> right. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, use this stuff that I researched. Mm -hmm. uh, so I want to use the spell Primal Override. Yeah. Um, and it has a higher chance of succeeding when an enemy is entangled or has sleep used mm -hmm. on them. And the Biomancer 
can use sleep. Okay, so, so we're, so we're going to try and uh, stack our abilities on top of yep. each other for the largest chance of uh, success here. Yeah, so we got the manipulate sleep ability. Mm -hmm. um, so let's stay in cover here and use it on, on this particular creature. It, I'm, I'm just going to get very close into danger here. I'm just first see how this all goes down. Yeah, because that's that's another thing, right? You don't necessarily... Ooh. Melee overwatch. Um, that was the melee overwatch. Yeah. Uh, in uh, in this game, you you can... You don't have to uh, take a unit and use all of its action points uh, in one go. You can use a few of them, use another unit, have their action... Start using their action points and then go back to the previous one. Yep. So... Come on. Yeah. You got it. So you finally got rid of them, which lets you move your uh, biomancers slightly further up while not being in in range of... Uh, 65%. Oh. Oof. 80%. Well. Uh, choices. Yeah. What, what, what does stream chat think? The red one, 65%, 65%. Okay. It, like, it's everyone 65% here. Okay, we go. Yeah! Yo. Thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. For once, stream chat made okay, it That work. was one roll successful, and yes. now we'd have to do the second one. So yeah. that's the primal override. And let's see. Yes! Got it. Yeah, so uh, we now... Control. We now have a cool unit that we didn't have before. Yeah. 65% yep. of the time, it works every time. Oh, yep. that's a... Yeah, they don't do that, a lot of damage, yeah, but they, they have all a clean shot. Are you just going to hunker down and hope for the best, or are you going to try and... Uh, ah, they're, they're warrior women. I mean, they, they, yeah, they go they, down yeah, in yeah, the blaze of glory. Of you know, course. All for the Amazonian ideals. They, they lived the best life they could have lived. Absolutely. They died on the battlefield, d d uh, destroying bugs. Yep. Which somehow are an affront to nature, I'm sure. These these particular bugs are. Yeah. <laughs> they've, they've not been uh, subjugated by the Amazons yet. Okay, now our commander can actually go do some work here. Critical. Oh, yeah. taking all the glory hounding it. Yeah. Or essentially just kill stealing it, let's be honest. Yeah. Okay, well, the independents, uh, the independent forces are oh, running no. a bit. Oh, no. oh, 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 oh. Oh, wow, okay. <sighs> that, hmm. I was, I'll be honest, you didn't expect that to happen, did you? I didn't expect that to happen, though. But I'm not really good at playing my own game. <laughs> no, this character is still still offline. It is oh, uh, still sleeping. Oh, yeah. Uh, because we slapped it. Uh, that's the downside. You, yeah. you raise your chances, but you lose the ability to yeah. use it for one or two turns. Galaxy Brain over, over Yeah, no, over it's not here. hot code. It actually... No, it's like... It, it's working as intended. It's working as intended, but not to our advantage. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but uh, we can heal our uh, glorious leader. Um, uh, so let's uh, do that. Very nice. Uh, take some shots. So far, the biomancers have been really useful. Yeah. Support units yeah. are, when used well, they're very useful. That's one of the things that went well in this battle. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, all of its life bar is flashing right now, yeah. but that that doesn't, necess doesn't necessarily mean, for, for that to, to all die, we actually have to hit with everything. It still right? has its three action points, so it will yeah. retaliate. Uh, but I think I'm going to survive it. Oh, right. Yeah, you... Killed it. Murdering it is always an option. Yep. All right. We did it. We even got Steam achievements. Sweet. Yeah. We got. We finally got the abandoned quarry. It's ours. But more importantly, we have a new unit yep. on the map. Look here. So this is a little dis display. And, um, as far as you know, unit domination on the battlefield, that mm -hmm. was a bit of a controversial topic in Age of Wonders 3. The Amazons are one of the few uh, that, uh, that, that still have this, that have the acquisition of units that outlast the duration of battle. Yeah. Um, it only works on wildlife, and you need to have uh, a particular operation mm -hmm. uh, ready, and um, it is uh, so very conditional. Yeah. All right, so um, let's jump 
forward in time. All right, so let's load. There, there we, we go. go. Welcome so to the future. It's now uh, turn... 33. Yes. So the Amazons have expanded their colony. So they've built the research uh, facility. You see here the nice little graphic of this research uh, sector. It's got a research station in it. Giving us uh, plus 10 research return. <coughs> Very nice. Yep. Lots of eggheads in yep. there just thinking about things. Uh, oh yeah, we, uh, we've removed the thing that the growth didn't like that used to hang out in that sector. We've, uh, have we expanded? Yeah, as well. We have got a uh, oh look, gross. Ah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, oh. Oh. Look at him. Coven insulted me. Oh yeah, the most. Th th oh. The fall of the Star Union was caused by incompetence like me. That means like war. No. Well, we got a minor reputation penalty here. I don't think we've talked about the rep penalties and stuff for war. Is it? Is it? Does it mainly matter for your own population when it comes well, to? Well, there's two factors. Um, the reputation is your reputation in the world, mm -hmm. so uh, especially how other factions see you. Yeah, <coughs> and then there's your uh, your morale, so how your own people see you. Mm -hmm. So they're two different things. Yeah. Uh, so one actually goes up, and the other goes down in this in this particular situation. Yeah. There we go. Uh, all right. So there might be some dwar uh, marching towards our place soon. So how about we? Uh, Throw some woods. Yeah, I think we should. I think in we should. Way. I think we should definitely do some rapid uh, reforestation. <coughs> so there we go. Wow. Oh, look at it. Yeah. It's so nice and lush. So what does this mean? Uh, we we now have a forest. A forest in as a sector property. Mm -hmm. And of course, the uh, Amazons have a bunch of doctrines. We got ecological construction. Yeah, so for your con uh, we get more production for every uh, forest sector in its domain. Uh, okay, so an Arcadian sector. I'm not entirely sure what in, uh, what constitutes yeah. an Arcadian sector. Uh, Arcadian sectors are uh, this particular climate. Uh, okay. This is actually fungal um, yeah. ecological construction. So uh, this so is the one that matters. Yeah, extra yeah. production for uh, for forest. So yeah, and we can, we can see that that cost us a uh, hundred. Ener uh, well, energy and 10 of the stuff that I never remember what it actually is. So it will quickly over operation the turns. Operation points. Yes, yeah. operation points. Yeah. So we'll, that will hopefully pay for itself in production over uh, Yeah, over time. Over yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see how our research is going. Uh, we are researching the Tyranodon commune, which is, of That's course... That's a very important commune. Yeah, that gives us uh, a very um, important uh, beastie of the mm -hmm. Amazons. Everyone you know, loves it. Yeah. So what's cool about these things is that the if a particular uh, unit mm -hmm. has a mount associated with it, that yeah. mount is, is also unlocked for your leader. Uh, so in this case, <laughs> the Tyranodon. <laughs> so we, we can we can have our... What you're saying is that we can have <coughs> our leader ride a Tyranodon. As well, yeah. Next to you, are being able to produce it. Yes. So that's cool. Yes. That's one yes. turn away. All right, so let's take a look at the uh, strategic situation here. So they're encroaching us here. Uh, we're, we're moving on this particular mm -hmm. smaller outpost here. So we can probably take that on quite easy. Um, we are, they are heading towards our friends. Oh no, not our, the growth. The growth. I can't, yep. but they're, they're so nice. Yeah, let's see, let's trade with you. Uh, so we can buy uh, some units. So this is the, at the lowest tier. Mm -hmm. uh, we've uh, also reached the friendship tier. Yeah. So we can uh, get the vine buds, flowering node, uh, verdant growth. So this is a. This, this is an is operation. A, yeah, it's a doctrine. Oh yeah. So each f uh, food sector generates ten extra food. So that that's pretty big. Uh, yeah. That's big. Um, we got the euphoric spores, euphoria inducing spores, giving. Uh, 400 morale and have plus four psionic resistance, five extra health, um, and it works on Aborian and plant units. So the Aborian units are unique to the Amazons. So mm -hmm. we can use this on our own our units in addition to the plants that we uh, buy from them. And we got the sprouting infestation. So well, I think we have to help our friends here mm -hmm. and uh, attack that particular group. Yes, um, we should. We should. I feel like we should <coughs> just get rid of it. Yep. I feel like that's a, I feel like that's a good idea. Yep. 
I'm gonna end the turn, so I, we have the Pteranodon. Mm -hmm. And this is now Nor. Oh. oh, they're just. I thought we were friends. Look at this. The monster. Uh, wow. They're asking for Cosmite. No. I mean, for those that don't know, Cosmite is Very really rare. Yeah. yeah, it's really important for us to for our unit mods and stuff. And that's I feel like. Uh, I, uh, it's uh, it's a uh, it's a bit of a I wouldn't say it's a stab in the back, but it's it's them demanding pr possibly you know. We will ask them for a quest, see what yeah. they have to do. Yeah. I mean, at least we'll buy us some time. Exactly, exactly. Like I'm just I'm the greenhouse effect. I'm uh, not angry. I'm just disappointed. So we need to build greenhouse parts for the plants. Okay, in ten. Yeah. Can we build that many greenhouse parts in ten turns? Yeah. I guess we'll find out in yeah, 10 we turns. We can have multiple colonies working on that. Oh, yeah, that's true. Cool. Uh, so we did the... Uh, we unlocked the cool Pteranodon. So let's yes, because that... In. So normally, of course, if we wanted a Pteranodon, we'd have to produce the unit. But like you said, because it's also a mount, we can just... Yep. We can uh, just go to the shop and uh, 40 Cosmite. <sighs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's. I feel like it's worth it. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so Look at that. <laughs> Why? Oh, it's massive. Um, we're going to make you a test species for the new step in the evolution of the Amazon. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's do it. Xenoplake parasite. Uh, grounding harass. So here, little thingy strapped oh, yeah. on her back. Yeah, that's that's not creepy at all. That seems totally yeah. normal. Yeah, I mean, it's just <laughs> working the way into our body. It's just okay. <laughs> yes, uh, and of course, when you when you do make mods, you you have the option of creating templates, which is great because it's so much easier to produce the templated units afterwards. And you can, and you can give them cool names. Booted. That's oh, less ooh, cool. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Next step. But let's go in and take out this colony. Have you done a uh, colony siege? Before? No, I have not actually, All right. and I am I am really pumped because you showed me some snippets of this, and it's looking really cool. There we go. Um, Here, the dwarf colony. Just yeah, it's like there's no there's no grass anywhere. It's no, it's, it's 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 despicable. Yeah, so much metal. It's like. Oh, they got their they're Prometheans as well. Ah, ugh, oh, that's Look not Xenoplaguey at all. They got tanks. They got Promethean flamethrowers. A leader or a hero setting up their trenches. Oh dear. That's a lot. You know what? That's a lot of them. Yeah, they've got a garrison as well. Mm -hmm. So that's the militia that um, uh, that will help them out in battle. Yeah, and this is that's specifically for those cases where you attack a colony or yeah, all right, any settlement, I guess. So uh, let's take a quick look at some of the the new units that we're mm -hmm. seeing here. So this is an Oborian. Uh, this is sort of like a cool plant creature. You see mm -hmm. his little eyes, probably genetically mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know, sculpted by the Amazons, not a natural to, being. To perfection, I might add. Mm. Not modded in any way or form. Because uh, it's already perfect. Yeah, we could have thrown the... Or, you know... We made, made it less... Uh, with more tentacles from yes. this. From the <laughs> more tentacles. Uh, oh, look. Here's our leader. Our glorious leader. Sitting on the... On the mound. So we have yes. cool rapid laser cannons. Mm -hmm. uh, we can still throw our grenade. We have a mighty roar, which will panic enemies. Which is really powerful. Yeah, and we got a Bombardon, which is a sort of artillery unit. <laughs> it's the ugliest uh, unit in the Amazon lineup, if I ever think. It's just a big <laughs> sort of toad creature. <laughs> this uh, is just this uh, primary pr uh, uh, th thing is just moving this cannon. Uh, but it's amphibious, so that's what it's got going for it. Oh, that's, that's nice. Yeah. Because, uh, I mean, I, we haven't actually shown off any... Uh, aquatic battles, but those are available. Like you can, there are yeah, 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 aquatic yeah. Uh, aquatic sectors that you can that you can fight over and claim. Yeah, we should do that in one of the next. Yeah, uh, we should. 
one of the next streams. So we have a Harrier here, so that's a, a flying dino with lasers. <laughs> no, you know what, the dinosaurs aren't just lasers. enough, we should put lasers on them. Uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's go, yeah, let's move this uh, fat toad into position here. <laughs> yes. Uh, so we moved, so these, this indicator shows that this needs all three uh, action points yeah. to fire. So this mm -hmm. is, these are new indicators we added, uh, I think, since the last three. Yeah. Uh, so this uh, takes, uh, requires one, uh, but has a repeating uh, shot of three. Uh, mm -hmm. we, are with, we can only shoot one time now because we've moved. Uh, so let's just let's <laughs> take a pot shot. Let's get that bio cannon going. Yep. So I think we've angered it now. We've scratched yeah, we its uh, <laughs> perfect... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we were surface, and we were talking about how like the dwar uh, the dwar have a lot of armor, mm -hmm. and we should hopefully have a lot of corrosive types of damage, which uh, destroys that. Yep. Uh, thus negating uh, one of their uh, strong points. Yeah, and that's another commander, right? Uh, the one. Uh, nope. No, not that one. I'm talking okay. about the. Yeah, that's another hero. Yep. Yes. Yes, you're right. Uh, yep. Oh yeah, is it? Do we do we? Is, are all of them commanders, or do you have one commander and the rest are heroes? Uh, yeah, that's the one commander per faction, yes. uh, and the rest we call heroes, but mm -hmm. they have the same sort of upgrade potential. Yeah. So this one is a melee one with a sort of, what is her name, Maraka the Entangler. Mm. Ooh, she looks dangerous. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure she's... Uh, you got a Psytech Staff, which can... Lost Psionic Energy, yeah. and Dark Vines. Uh, so this is one of the, we're talking about Overwatch. Mm -hmm. This is one of the uh, Amazon units that has Overwatch. Let's see where I can stick him. Here. There goes the plant creature. There we go. All right, we're done. Excellent. Let's see. I'm gonna oh, they're going after my leader. Oh dear. That's why I don't understand why they always want to. Why do you always want to fight your leader? It's like it's like they know that it's good to take out there the leader. There goes the cover. Yeah. Oh no. Okay, I'm uh, gonna do some uh, while 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 you keep. Oh no. <laughs> while you keep the fight going, I'm I'm gonna quickly gonna fix some things in Twitch chat here. So, uh. Dwar Promethean setting the house on fire, critting uh, oh all over the place. That is unacceptable behavior. Someone, someone who made the game should have, uh, should have a talk about that and stop them from doing that. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> all right, so luckily not staggered. Area of effect damage here. There we go. Splat. All right, so these need to get out of here as soon as possible. So I've got a problem here as well, uh, not the spammer, but the fact that I've got laser cannons mm -hmm. and the Prometheans uh, tend to be thermal resistant. Ah, that's, that's a, if, if only there was another way uh, yeah. we could solve that. So look at this. So I can probably take out these dwar, this regular dwar, but not this guy. I need to focus my, um, my, my bio uh, damage on them. So these mm -hmm. all have lasers as well. Which is not so handy. So, okay, that's, that's, that's I'm, I'm, a I, I like killing stuff. So yeah, uh, we should, we, I, I I agree. I feel like we should kill something. Yeah, let's. We should also hit it. Like now these these guys can take a lot of damage. Yeah. They can do a lot of damage uh, close by. So. Um. Damn! There goes the plan as to like fully taking something out. <laughs> Let's uh, take that one out. Okay, cool. There we go. Okay, that's one. That's one. <laughs> <laughs> that's one. Yeah, are you doing a tactical retreat? Yeah, we can do a tactical retreat and see if we can flank the... We'll get these, uh, the leader to the uh, place where she does the most damage. Mm -hmm. Let's take the Bio Blaster and just, you know, take yeah, some... Yeah, just, yeah, just put, you just put some damage on it. Yeah. Get that. There we go. Get that gracing going. So, more bio shots here. But this, 
Uh, that unit is essentially, would you say that that's currently the main damage dealer of the Dwar? The, uh, tank force. Is, the tank is pretty dangerous, and th we shouldn't forget about this sniping hero, this, yeah. this camping here. Uh, this, this is so there, there, are, there are a lot of things we need to deal with. There's a it's lot of things we need yeah. to deal with, yeah. We've got operations, though. Uh, mm -hmm. So one of them is the uh, parasitic strike. Um, so when we target an enemy, it uh, uh, infects them with a xenoplake yeah. parasite. Mm -hmm. It means that if they die, uh, they will... Uh, uh, cause a uh, to spawn a, a low tier uh, xenoplake mm -hmm. unit, which we will get after the combat, Ooh. which is cool. Yes, um, but it, it also has the chance to infect other people mm -hmm. of the enemies. So how about we do that? I, I actually, think I think show off the coolest thing we have because we've been we've been talking a lot and we are we've actually been talking for like an hour about the, about the Amazons, which is what we had planned. I don't mind. Uh, doing a bit more and taking a few more turns of the um, of the combat, but we might not be able to complete it. Yeah. Okay. If, if we if we're gonna do some oh. Q and A, which I think we should, because okay, because otherwise Jim, Jimmy and Sana and the community team are gonna be really really annoyed with us, and I don't want that to happen because yeah. he's so much taller than me. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah. We should we move to the Q and A now? I I, I, like, I I would like you to show off some more of the uh, the abilities if you can, especially the uh, Tyrannodon. Yeah. Because uh, that's, I feel like that's important. But yeah, I, I guess this also kind of showcases how dangerous it, it can be to go up against, for example, a, a, a dwarf colony or any type of colony. And that you kind of, you have to be prepared for, yep. for for the type of, you know, attack um, the faction you're up against is going to pull. Oh dear! Oh, <laughs> not the toad! <sighs> Toad is that. Boom. Oh, that's an area <laughs> of effect damage. Oh, these are infected. They're, for, I mean, they're mostly okay. Mostly okay. Ooh, crit. Oh no. Bloody scout unit. So uh, let's uh, get in the light cavalry. Yeah, uh, poke, poke. Very nice. And then there we go with the. Let's use the dark tentacles. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Psionic tentacles. Yes. It's, it's horrendous. And here we go with the laser cannons, just going full on. Yeah, let's. Just against the tank. Bam! <laughs> Actually, did a decent amount of damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm it's, not it's surprised. It's a Tyrannodon. It's a, yeah, but it's also not a, a Promethean unit, so yeah. they don't have the uh, thermal, uh, the thermal weakness, or thermal resistance. Yeah. Yeah. So I, th I think maybe yep. it's time for us to go into this screen again. So now we okay. have to, now we have to behave. That's why I put all oh. my clothes oh back yeah, on. Oh, we're back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, as I mentioned at the start, we are we're heading into the Q and A section.